Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my brand new series on how to make a VR application in uh, for Android using Unity 2017. So there have not been a lot of tutorials that are very recent, so I am trying to fix that. So we're going to call our project Dronetron. Uh, that is the working title of this project. And we're going to get that rolling. Now, uh, so obviously we're using 2017 1.0 F3, which is great. You're also going to need Android Studio, uh, which we have links to right here. Uh, you're going to need the Java JDK, uh, Java Developer Kit. Uh, the link to that is actually in the external tools. I'll show you where to get that. And then we're also going to need Google VR for Unity 1.70.0. Install these three, and then I will tell you uh, when it's time to use this one. So, once you have installed those, you're going to need to go to Edit Preferences External Tools. Okay, so let's go ahead and find that. Uh, edit Preferences External Tools. Here we go. So, of course, make sure that you're using Mono Develop. It's the one that I use, uh, and it just seems to be working well. All right, so we have Android is going to appear down here. We got an SDK, a JDK, and an NDK. After you have all of those things uh, installed properly, you need to be able to make sure that these things point to them properly. So uh, as long as they look like this, you know, your Android SDK is getting picked up, your Java JDK is getting picked up, and your NDK is getting picked up. The NDK and the SDK should come in this studio bundle right here. Okay, all these links, of course, like I said, are going to be in the description. And for this particular JDK, what you want to do is come here to where it says JDK and hit download. This download, ugh, it's opening up Exploder. Uh, anyhow, okay, so anyhow, you're going to download this, the JDK, or this, whatever. It uh, doesn't really matter as long as you download it and it's in there. Not really sure why you need it, but you do. All right, so that step is out of the way. What we need to do now is we need to add the GVR for Unity. So let's go to Assets, Import Package. Oops, sorry. Uh, import package, custom package. Now, I have pulled the uh, the um, the Google VR out of my downloads folder, and I've put it somewhere where I could easily find it. So, Google VR for Unity 1.70.0. Go ahead and open that. Now. A lot of people are going to tell you to delete the legacy folder or the iOS folder or the demos folder because, after all, we're just um, we're just uh, building for Android. I'm not going to say that because there are some really cool things inside of the demo uh, to check out. So once we're done, once we're done with this, you can check those out and see how they work. But for today, we are just simply getting the camera working so that you could look around in VR and enjoy yourself. So, uh, we're going to need something to look at. It always kind of annoys me when I see people spending a whole lot of time building a scene instead of just jumping to the meat of the matter. So, I'm going to make a cube, and I am going to pull it away from the camera a little bit to make sure it's all good. Now, the main camera can't just be sitting by itself. We need to create a dummy object. All right, move that out. Let's go ahead and call it, let's call it player because, you know, player one, eh? All right, drag the main camera from main cam from where it's at into the player. Excellent. All right, so now that we've gotten that, our the hardest step is done. No, I'm just kidding, that was a pretty easy step. All right, so if you look here, in your search bar, you're going to need to find the GVR Editor Emulator. That is the ability to use your game screen, this screen right here, as an Android emulator. So go ahead and grab it. GVR Editor Emulator. All right. It does not need to be a child of the player or the main camera. Probably shouldn't be. Uh, so I just drag it up to the top and I leave it alone. All right. Now. 
Uh, we have a few more things to do. So hit main camera, make sure that's selected. Now we want to get the reticle pointer, so G, V, R, R. And that will pull up reticle, drag that, and make it a child of the main camera. Ta-da! All right, so now that that's there, uh, we need one more little bit of script to attach to the main camera. So select main camera again, come over to your little search thing and type in GVRP. What we're looking for is the script called GVR Pointer Physics Raycaster. And we're gonna drag that to our main camera. All right, GVR Pointer Physics Raycaster, excellent. Okay, so now, We've got all of those things taken care of. The next thing that we need to do is come in here and make sure that we first save our scene. We're going to call this uh, intro. Okay. And then we're going to go into our build settings. And the build settings are very important. Go ahead and add your scene. Go to Android and choose Switch Platform. Now, of course, making sure that you uh, install you know, your Android components is one of the things that you should do when you're installing Unity. So hopefully you watched the full video before you started installing anything. Uh, but if you didn't, that's on me. I apologize. You need to make sure you got uh, Android in there. So we've got Android uh, selected. It is going to be our main build to setting. Hit player settings. And over here we have uh, our inspector that has all of these player settings. So we're going to change default company to whatever your company name is. And uh, it has already put our product name of Dronetron in there. And let's go ahead and just select an arbitrary uh, icon. The reason I use icons, uh, uh, just arbitrary icons, is because, you know, I'll wind up making seven or eight builds of the same project, and I want to be able to differentiate between them, so that's the only reason. Come down to a virtual reality supported and click that box. All right, right now it says the list is empty, so come over here and hit pl the plus, and we're gonna choose cardboard. We're not gonna choose any of the other ones. I will be developing for Oculus later on and making tutorials for that. However, we're gonna be using cardboard. We're not going to be using any of the other ones. Daydream is not really uh, supported by a lot of phones, and there's not a lot of developers for it. So, uh, come down to package name. We're going to get rid of product name, and we're going to call it what it is, Drone Tron. Like I said, it's our working title. And the next thing you need to worry about is this, the minimum API level. The target API level should always be set to automatic, but for some reason, when you begin this, the... Uh, Jelly Bean has been chosen, Jelly Bean 16. What we need is KitKat, okay? KitKat is the lowest thing that we need to be able to be building to uh, in order to make this work. If you are using any of these previous ones, you probably need, you know, an older version of Unity and an older version of the SDKs, but we are not going to be jumping into that. Hopefully, your phone runs KitKat. Okay, so uh, there is nothing else really that we need to change in here. So let's go ahead and hit the X button. We're not going to build right away because we still haven't even tested this thing yet. Okay, so we, just to, just to recap, we added our GVR editor emulator so that we could see stuff happening in here. Uh, we added our GVR reticle pointer to the main camera, and then we added a script called GVR pointer physics raycaster to the main camera. We parented the main camera to a dummy object, uh, because when we want to move the camera, we're actually going to be moving the dummy object, the player, instead, and that way the camera stays attached to it and uh, works independently. Uh, that'll come in handy later on, but for now, let's test this thing. All right. Come on. There you go. All right, so if you click in here, uh, we're going to hold down the Alt button and then drag our mouse around. We So we're looking around. Yay, that's awesome. Now hold the control button down and move your mouse. Yeah, it's tilting back and forth. This is called roll. Yeah. And then if you hold down the alt button and move up and down, I believe that's called pitch. And then back and forth is called yaw. 
Very good. And those are set up to different rotations. Let's go ahead and click on the main camera while we're still playing. All right, when we are looking around, we can see that we've got values that are changing. So the, the pitch is attached to X. So as you can see, uh, way up here, it's negative 28. Down here, it's negative 21. And then the yaw is set to the Y. So it's 33 over here, negative 33 over here. Excellent. And then the roll is attached to Z. So if we move this, we can see that the Z value changes. All right. So that is basically it when it comes to making your very first VR application. Uh, it's pretty simple. The only difficult part, like I said, is making sure that all of your uh, Android stuff is is taken care of. You know, you got to get those SDKs, you got to install them. The Android thing is like two gigabytes. It's ridiculously huge, uh, but you need it. And uh, the last thing I want to say is that this GVR editor emulator, this thing is only good for when you're in Unity, okay? It's what allows you to be able to look around like I explained. Uh, if you look here, we've got camera controls. Alt plus mouse move equals change the yaw and pitch, and then control plus mouse move equals change the roll. So we already demonstrated how that works. Now, we need to get rid of it if we're actually going to build this thing to Android. So let's go ahead and cover that real quick. Uh, go to File, Build Settings. We already made sure that our scene is in the build. If you don't have any scene in here, it's not going to build anything. We already made sure that we clicked on Android and hit switch platform, so we have, uh, basically, we're developing for Android. Uh, player settings, we made sure that our names have changed properly, and that we have cardboard as our SDK that's been selected, and we've made sure that our API level is at least 19. Let's go ahead and build. All right, we want to call this um, intro test. And... I go up a couple levels, you know, so that it's not inside of your project folder. I don't know. I think I've had some issues with it being in there, but anyhow. Uh, you could also just arbitrarily toss it onto the desktop, which is what we're going to do. All right. So save. And we're going to watch this thing build. If you leave that GVR editor emulator inside of your hierarchy, there's a very good possibility it will crash your build. Uh, if it doesn't crash your build, it will definitely crash inside of your phone. Uh, like I said, the GVR Editor Emulator is only for looking around inside of this game screen, and uh, it doesn't really have an application for the Android itself. So, okay. If you may notice, we're kind of hung up here on what appears to be Packaging Assets, Shared Assets, Zero, uh, Dot Assets. This is a good sign. If everything has disappeared out of your window and your hierarchy and your inspector, that means that this thing is working real hard and making you a build. So once this is done, we're going to have an APK that we can put onto our Android phone. Uh, you're going to have to unlock your developer options, uh, which is really simple. You know, uh, if you need any information on that, I could possibly uh, make another video. But... Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe I should make another video. So I will bust out the camera so I can record what that looks like. So, okay, on our desktop now we have intro test.apk. It actually built out perfectly. And that is that. So, all right, you guys, you have this. Put it on your phone, test it out. Uh, definitely download the Google Cardboard application so that way you can aggregate all of your builds in one place. Uh, because I don't think that the way we have this built, I don't think it's actually going to create an icon inside of Android for us. Uh, but it will create an icon inside of the um, inside of the Google Cardboard app. So just open up the Google Cardboard app, choose the application that you want to play, hit it, and then toss it into your little headset. So. And if you don't have a headset, you can probably pick one up uh, for about five bucks uh, at the, the Walmart. Uh, I don't recommend going there or supporting them, but if, uh, if you have one nearby and it's the only thing that you can get to, 
definitely go pick one up. Uh, you can order them online. Uh, they're really inexpensive right now. I believe I picked up my last two headsets. One was $3 and the other was 20 So you definitely get what you pay for. So anyhow, thank you guys very much for watching this. I had a lot of fun uh, making these, making this. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy this series. We're going to make a whole bunch of videos on how to use the reticle to activate uh, stuff in game. So you're going to want to like look at something and you're going to want it either to change color or uh, change scene or or activate an animation or lower a volume, whatever. So we're going to make those videos. Tune in, uh, join my Patreon, like, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. All right, guys, I will see you on the next video. Peace.